the first task to, is to create let me write here the i will write a comment here the step one is to allocate the data item in memory right we will have to allocate the data item in the memory and the way to do is to create a class right so instead i will write create a node class here now let's see how we can create a node class we will use the class reserved keyword and the name is node followed by a colon and we will press enter now in this node class whenever we will create an object of the node class we will have to specify the data item right which will be some integer in our case so if you will see here you can see here that if the element is 5 and we are creating a class node the data should be passed at the time of object creation this is a very important line that we will have when we are creating the object we will have to pass this data to the object and we already know that we can do it using constructors you can understand the simple python concepts in the python playlist also so i have given the link to that playlist and the playlist of data structures in the description below so you can check that out if you want to understand the concepts and or you want to revise it right all right so let's move here the class node will have a constructor and the way to define a constructor is to use the init with two underscores here like this we will we know we pass two elements one is the self and the second one let me just increase the size so the things will be clear now all right so the first element is the self and the second element is the data right so we are defining a constructor where we say that whenever you are creating a node class you will have to pass the data it can be an integer or a character or in anything but you will have to pass it it is mandatory so now we will define it like this now you can see that our node which is here this node 5 is the data and we are passing it at the time of object creation so whenever we will create an object of this node class it will automatically uh, create a constructor it will automatically call the constructor and it will pass the data 5 to this constructor you can see there are uh, there is a self also which is basically a reference to the object with which is trying to call this class node all right let's move on to the next thing which is to define the constructor in the constructor we will create an item we will use self dot item to represent that whichever object is trying to call this node we know that there are different nodes because we have different data items 5 4 11 8 10 so we need the self dot item to actually represent which uh, particular call is actually uh, we are actually referencing the self we are using self to reference that particular call at the time of object creation right so we will create a self dot item and then we will assign it the value of data so let's say we have data as 5 so we will say that the item of that object which is by using self is equal to 5 right that's the main objective here so we know that in a node we have a data the second important thing in a linked list and more specifically in a singly linked list is that a node will contain the data as well as the reference right so we will have to create a reference now see uh, we have not we're not saying what is the next node right it will assign it will get assigned when we will create a new object of this node class so let's see how to uh, so we will have to create the reference and we will assign it to null Right. so whenever you will try to add some elements or nodes inside of this singly linked list you will have to assign another pointer 
and it will also point to null. All right, so let's see how we can do this. Let's create a reference. I'm going to call it as ref, and initially I'm going to assign it as none. Right, so none basically means it is a null reference, right? So it is pointing to nothing. Then if we will create another object, which is another node, then we will have to take care that we will have to reassign this reference ref to that node, which you can see here that here if I have assigned ref to null and now I am assigning a new item, I will have to make sure that this ref or the reference is not pointing to null but to this data node. This will become clear when we will study how to insert elements inside a linked list. Here we are just studying the structure of a linked list and you can see the structure includes a node which has the item which is the data and the null reference. Next important task is to which is our step two is to create the actual linked list, right? So we will create the linked list class, right? So we'll create a class which is the linked list, and this linked list class will basically represent the head pointer, which is here. We will assign it to null and then we will keep on adding these nodes which, uh, which will come from these node class. We will keep adding these nodes inside of the linked list and we will also take care of the references when we are trying to add the elements, right? So we need some uh, linked list class which can actually maintain this whole data structure, right? Because node is representing just the data and the reference but our linked list class will hold the data of this whole linked list, right? So all the nodes connected together will form the linked list class. And we know that initially, since there is no data inside of the linked list, we will create a head pointer, which is pointing to null, right? So here I'm going to define a constructor, which is by using init. And then I'm going to use a self parameter. Now remember that in, uh, the linked list is empty, so we do not need to supply any data. So we will leave only one parameter here. Now we are going to create a head variable, self dot head. So whenever we will uh, create an ob object of this class, we are actually assigning a head of that class of that object right so that's why we're using self dot head and obviously we are going to assign it as none because initially the linked list is empty right so i can write here that linked list or double l is empty initially right so now we have a basic structure of our node class and our linked list now we will see in the next tutorial onwards, we will see how to insert nodes inside of this linked list. And we will also see how we can actually print them, right? So we will see how to traverse in a linked list. So basically I'm going to write here that the operations that we are going to perform is insertion. And then we will study traversal inside of a linked list. Right, so in the next tutorial onwards, we are going to basically use this fundamental structure, which you can see these two steps are very important. We will create a node class and a linked list class. We will assign these references to null and this head to null. And then we are going to use the, this step and we will move further to insert some more elements. Now remember insertion can be of different types. Let's say I want to insert an element at the starting of the linked list. So we will have to be careful that if I want to insert some element, let's say I want to insert six at the starting of this point, I will have to make sure that this head reference is now pointing to this six, right? In this way, it will get at it will get added to the first position in the linked list, right? Similarly, we can uh, define some 
specific index at which we want to place the uh, or insert a new element and we can also perform insertion at the end of the link list right so we will traverse along the link list and whenever we will detect that the link list is the reference is null we will say that we have reached the end and at that position we will insert our node in traversal we will just create a while loop which will uh, jump from one location to another and we will start displaying these values and it will do it until and unless we have reached a null position so that's what we are going to do in the next tutorial basically first of all let's let's also do the step 3 which is to which is basically to uh, create the object which is to create object of link list right so now we will create a link list i will call it as a new link list or for simplicity i am going to write it, it as new underscore ll and then i am going to create an object of the link list class like this so now you can see this new link list has been assigned it has a head pointer which is pointing to null so from now on we will in the next tutorial we, we will perform step 4 which is to insert element at the end of the link list right so uh, here we have created a link list with reference null so when we will insert an element we will change these references accordingly so we'll see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching